If you are looking to run or install large language models on AWS EC2 instances, then you need to select any EC2 instance which has GPUs. If you are just looking to get started or play around with these LLMs on AWS EC2, then I would highly suggest that you start with G4DN instances. If you look at the G4DN instances, they come in variety of sizes such as X large to X large. From X large to 16 X large, they just come with only one GPU. But if you want multi GPU VM, then you need to go with 12 X large or with the metal one, which is quite expensive too. Well, whether you are running one GPU or multi GPU, you need to install NVDS driver. So what it means is that if you have created an EC2 instance of uh, this type G4DN, then and it is running Windows, then it doesn't come pre-installed with your NVIDIA GPU drivers. So even if you spin this EC2 instances up, this is not going to use GPU out of the box. The first step you need to do is to install the GPU drivers from NVIDIA. In this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process as how you can do it. The first step in this uh, saga is to install AWS CLI. So simply click on the bottom left um, text box, type PowerShell and then run it as an inspirator. It is easier to run it from PowerShell. The first step we are going to do is to install AWS CLI which is command line interface for AWS. And this is a command to run and don't worry about the command. I'll drop the link to these commands in my video's description. Press enter and it is going to install. Just click next, accept the terms, next, next, and install. Shouldn't take too long. It is copying the files to your local system and it's going to install it. Okay, so that's done. Quickly, you need to uh, maybe close this window and reopen it so that it will load again. Simply again type PowerShell here. And then run as an administrator. In order to verify if CLI got installed, just type AWS dash dash version. And this is going to show you the version of AWS CLI, which is 2.15.10, which is the latest as we speak. Okay, now the next step you need to do is to configure your AWS CLI. Simply type AWS space configure. And this is going to ask you key ID and secret access key. Now for that, you would need to log into your AWS account and from there you would need to grab this key ID and uh, secret access key. So what it is, it is primarily the your IAM user. So log into your AWS account, go to IAM service. If you don't have any IAM user, create an IAM user and grab the key ID and secret access key. I already have one, so let me set it and clear my screen. I have set my secret access key and key ID in AWS CLI, which is all good now. And now simply you need to install AWS tools. So run this command, install module AWS tools dot installer. And it is going to install this AWS tools. Let's wait for it to get installed. And simply type capital Y here press enter and it is going to install it and if you look at the error message uh, not uh, message just the message it is asking that it is also going to install NuGet and if you already have it installed don't worry about it if not then it will automatically install it so let's wait for it to come back so NuGet is done now just type capital A here and it is going to install everything and it won't ask you again and again for AWS tools. So AWS tools is done too. It takes a few minutes, so don't worry about it. If it seems stuck, it eventually comes back. Now in the next step, let's download the driver from one of the AWS S3's publicly available bucket. And the code to do that is, let me take you to that code. So this is the code. 
hopefully it will let me paste it here yeah so you can see that i'm specifying aws supplied bucket key prefix latest driver and from nvidia and all that stuff so get s3 object is getting the object and downloading it to my local system so let's wait for it to come back so what it is going to do is it is going to download the nvidia's drivers from this bucket and there it will put it on my desktop as you can see in this local path so let's wait for it to download it there and it has finished downloading the driver as you can see it is telling us that what was the last write time length and everything if i minimize it and go to my desktop you can see that there is a folder nvidia open that folder latest and then if i just make it bit bigger you will see that it's an exe file let's double click on it and this is our driver click on ok and let's wait while files are being saved to our computer so it has unzipped the file and it is going to launch the installer now agree and continue and then express is fine click on next installation is in progress it is installing our gpu driver so let's wait for it to finish and nvidia driver has been installed just click on close here let me close this one too now in order to verify your driver simply click on powershell again run as an administrator and then type the command nvidia-smi and this is going to show you the driver version CUDA version and all that information and for instance if you are using any um, tool like lm studio then go to lm studio go to chat button on the right hand side if you check here and you see that there is a detected gpu type nvidia cuda so then you can offload your models and if you are not aware of what lm studio is i have various other videos where i show how what lm studio is and how can you run models locally with it so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you are still stuck having issues let me know and i'll be happy to help and i'll drop the link to the commands which i have used in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks a lot